okay welcome to the retouching class for this beauty um, image now i told you i am not aiming at i'm not competing with any retoucher I, I i don't take credit to be a professional retoucher so but i prefer i want my image to be relatively natural and that's why i follow the process i use for my editing so i'm going to go into the retouching using my actions for editing so i am taking cognizance of her skin so that's actually what it means which i choose for this retouching now so i'm going to go into it right away so you can follow up if you want to i know a lot of people ask me questions okay now i'm seeing that the selection i don't like the selection here the feather is too much it's too small so i'm going to increase the feather to 15. i'm going to increase the feather to 15 so when i select it will not give me the dark edges that you are seeing okay i'm seeing um dark edges from that selection so that's what i'm trying to avoid here as you can see now so if your own is showing you something like that know that you have to increase or decrease the feather depending on the sharpness of the image the kind of image you are working on so remember the target is not to make the skin soft too much this target is just to get an even skin to make the colored and the skin and the tones balance that's the what i see retouching as touching is just that process that helps you to be able to um, make the skin even just like here now you are seeing some area in this neck that is rough so applying this retouching just makes everything you know relaxed and and then even the skin become even that's the essence of um, frequency separation to give you more texture um, of, instead of the image just being there and flat so the retouching helps or frequency separation helps to make the image have more texture and more quality skin so that's the essence of this it's not really meant for your image to be too soft like i see a lot of images online which maybe a lot of people criticize my image too because i get criticized too on you know other professional photography page they tell me my image is too soft and then i have to go walk on try as much as i can to make it to look more natural this is the process i use for the retouching so i'm almost done with this now okay like i said earlier the target is not to make the skin too soft that's not the target the target is just to make it even so now i'm done with that i just sharpened the image a little more so it could have more details so i i have not tested this color grading because i'm seeing her skin the way it is now so i'm going to do a lot of trying to get something so let's just get into it so i don't know the particular color grading that's going to work for her skin now but i'm going to try so i'm going to try and see if i can use some of my colors mix them together and see what i can achieve what can i what i can get from it so i'm seeing the skin the way it is so i may likely reduce the opacity of this so this is trying her color to see if it's going to be different so that's what i'm doing as you can see so now you see this is not perfect but i'm still working on the trying to get a balanced color so when i'm now editing the another one i know exactly which one that will work better for her skin so i think this is okay i think this is okay i think this is nice so i'm still in, on the process cleaning the eyes you can see the red eyes or yellow so i have to work on this using my eye cleaner all right so i think this is perfect this is good so the next thing is probably add a little f this is not the original dodge and bone like you know the dodge and bone too this is the uh, so i'm 
going to use the dodge and burn so the dodge to just for the i don't know what this is called is it highlight or contour okay contour yeah so that i'll just use that just a little i don't want it to be too obvious that i apply something i know this is not the professional dodge and bond that many people use but i'm just using it because it's a makeup work and there's a beauty shoot so i'm going to duplicate this layer to burn her cheek the cheek area that's uh, i don't know what is it is it called blush or highlight i don't know what is it called what is it called so no 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 i'm going to do that again so reduce the opacity a little okay so i'm going to go to my red i'm going to add it because i'm see that i've lost some details from the red that is that her skin is carrying because they added red to the lip and this i'm going to add that red back again just okay the red is back so i'm going to do it again because i don't want it to affect her skin i just want it to be towards the face i told you that it whatever thing that works for you do it so there is no rule for me i'm not following any rule i'm following the thing what i know that can give me the result i'm looking for that's what i follow then here we are at the final image you can see it so from this i'm just showing you another image like that to this from this to this you can see the color here and here thank you